is the story of the U.S. Army XB-5A, a VSTO, vertical and short takeoff and landing research airplane, designed to take off and hover like a helicopter, fly at high subsonic speeds, and land in an area no bigger than a tennis court. General Electric and Ryan Aeronautical Company are teamed in the design and production of two XB-5A aircraft for the Army's Transportation Research Command to investigate the lift-span concept of jet vertical flight. The new Army craft is an extension of continuous studies begun in 1955, both by General Electric and Ryan, in the design of VSTO aircraft based on the fan and wing concept. At first glance, the XB-5A looks like any conventional jet, and indeed performs like one in conventional flight. But several external features of the airplane are clues to why this aircraft has the versatility of a helicopter in takeoff, hovering, and landing. The most significant feature of the aircraft is a set of counter-rotating fans submerged in the wings, which are powered by jet exhaust to provide lift for takeoff, hovering, and landing. In vertical flight, the rotating fans provide columns of relatively cool, low-speed air for lift. A smaller fan in the nose provides trim and pitch control. Like most Army aircraft, the airframe includes a large cockpit with a side-by-side -side seating arrangement, conventional jet aircraft controls and instruments, and a helicopter-type collective pitch stick, high engine inlet ducts, and a T-tail structure with a high horizontal stabilizer are also key external features of the XB-5A design. Mounted high in the fuselage behind the inlet ducts, two General Electric J85 gas generators, a system fully proven by more than 200,000 flight hours, provide power for the XB-5A. Thrust from the engines is directed to tailpipes or through ducting to the fans by diverter valves. In the vertical takeoff and landing mode, Gas flow from each of the J85 engines is diverted by these valves through crossover ducting to each of the three fans. The ducts are designed to allow the thrust from one engine to supply half the total required lift. The pitch fan, located in the nose of the XB-5A fuselage, produces 1,500 pounds of thrust in the nose-up attitude and 200 pounds of reverse thrust for nose-down. Pitch is controlled by movable exit doors during VTOL operations. Both louvers and doors are closed for conventional flight. The two wing fans handle the bulk of the vertical lift requirement by multiplying engine thrust by 300%. Two seconds after the diverter valves are actuated, the fans reach 100% RPM. Butterfly-type doors over the fans provide an aerodynamic seal during conventional flight. The underside of the wing is sealed by exit louvers, which also control the aircraft during hovering by deflecting the fan discharge. The location of the tail on top of the vertical fin removes it from the high downwash angle created by the flaps and fans and achieves a weight saving. Adjustable, the tail automatically trims out pitching moment changes during transitional flight. A graphic demonstration of the functions of the lift fan propulsion system shows the thrust from the turbojets being channeled to the perimeter of the fans during fan-supported flight. The lift fans discharge columns of air downward to lift the aircraft vertically. Control of the lift generated by the fans is accomplished by positioning the nose fan exit doors and the wing fan exit louvers. The XB-5A is maneuvered in the VTOL operation mode with the same positive control that airframe control surfaces provide in conventional flight. To achieve lift for hovering, the nose fan exit doors are held open and the wing fan exit louvers are positioned vertically. Vertical speeds may be regulated by suppressing the airflow of the wing fans by staggering the exit louvers or by controlling the engine power. Differential staggering of the exit louvers on either wing provides roll control. Pitch control is achieved by regulating the volume of thrust downwash from the nose fan. 
The amount of air deflected depends upon the desired attitude of the aircraft. During fan-supported flight, yaw control is accomplished by vectoring the wing fan exit movers. The thrust downwash is directed forward from one fan and aft from the other. Forward fan-powered flight is achieved by vectoring the wing fan louvers to the aft position. When aircraft speed exceeds the conventional flight stalling speed, the diverter valves are actuated to divert the thrust to the tailpipe. The XB-5A is then powered like a conventional jet aircraft. Speeds range from zero at takeoff to a maximum Mach number of 0.82 between 10,000 and 40,000 feet altitude. The control functions are depicted by this operational flight sequence. Flaps are lowered, which position the exit louvers and open the pitch fan inlet louvers. Power systems are checked and the conversion switch is moved to the BTOL position. This opens the wing fan inlet doors and diverts the engine power to the fans. The exit louvers are held at zero deflection as the power is increased. The XB-5A then lifts vertically to a hover where it is trimmed to zero stick forces. With trim completed, a vertical climb is continued until the obstacle height is cleared. The exit louvers are slowly deflected aft, and the aircraft begins to accelerate forward. The acceleration increase coincides with the angle of deflection of the louvers and engine throttle position. Throughout the liftoff procedure, the aircraft attitude remains level. The exit louvers are fully deflected at maximum forward fan-powered airspeed. The pitch fan lift is reduced, and the flaps remain at 45 degrees. As the aircraft exceeds the stalling speed, the mode selector is moved to conventional flight position and the diverter valves are actuated to direct the thrust out the tailpipe. The wing fan doors and pitch fan exit doors and the wing fan exit louvers and pitch fan inlet louvers close. With the vertical liftoff sequence completed, the XB-5A aircraft accelerates to 500 knots airspeed and performs as a conventional jet. After the mission is accomplished, preparation for confined area landing is begun. The aircraft is aligned to a slightly nose-up attitude. Speed is reduced, the landing gear is extended, thrust spoilers are deployed, flaps are extended 45 degrees, wing fan exit louvers open, and pitch fan inlet louvers open. The diverter valves are actuated to the fan mode. Wing fan inlet doors and pitch fan exit doors are opened and thrust spoilers are retracted. The wing fan exit louver angle is slowly deflected forward as speed decreases. Approaching the landing site, the wing fan exit louvers are continuously being deflected to obtain greater lift and less forward movement. The wing fan exit louvers are set at zero with the pitch fan exit doors fully opened to hold the aircraft at a hover above the touchdown area. The handling qualities of the XB-5A are designed to meet IFR requirements for helicopters with adequate control power to maintain hovering stability in a 30-knot crosswind or a 10-knot tailwind. Final letdown is accomplished by reducing the thrust to the fan. Fine adjustments can be made by deflecting the wing fan exit louvers forward for landing alignment or to avoid head-on terrain obstacles. The area required for landing and takeoff of this versatile aircraft is little more than the overall length of its fuselage and wings. Overload weight can be carried by taking off in a conventional manner. The Ryan VSTOL flight simulator is used to optimize the control system and pilot techniques. Also, it will demonstrate the flight characteristics of the XB-5A. This flight simulator, with its 220-degree panoramic wraparound screen, will train pilots for the XB-5A program. The actual cockpit instruments and controls are utilized while flying in an atmosphere of three-dimensional realism. The simulator flight controls are identical to those of the XB-5A. Conventional control stick and rudder pedals are used to regulate the aircraft's position in both the BTOL and CTOL modes of operation. 
The collective stick and twist grip throttle are used only for vertical takeoff and landing. The two engine throttles provide varying speed control for the conventional flight mode. Prior to the liftoff, the pilot completes the pre-flight check of the control system. With all systems functioning properly, a signal is given to start engines. The ignition switch is engaged and the turbine spins. The engines require 10 to 15 seconds to reach full operational speed. Their combined capability produces 5,316 pounds of thrust for conventional flight. Further conventional and VTOL control and power systems checks are made. After satisfactory operational verification, the flaps are lowered. This opens the pitch fan louvers and the exit louvers of the wing fans. The conversion switch on the collective stick is moved to VTOL position, which actuates the diverter valves and diverts the thrust from the tailpipes to the three fans. As the power is increased on the collective stick's twist grip throttle, the fan RPM builds and the XB5A rises to a hover position. Additional power is applied, and the aircraft continues its vertical climb. When the immediate terrain obstacles are cleared, fan thrust is increased to correspond to the desired rate of ascent. Forward acceleration is gained with the beeping of the vectoring switch located at the top of the control stick. A climbing right turn is negotiated as the simulated flight rapidly exceeds the aircraft's stalling speed. The pilot throws the conversion switch from the VTOL to the conventional takeoff and landing position, actuating the diverter valves to channel the thrust out the tailpipes and close the wing fan inlet doors. He then raises the flaps, which close the pitch fan inlet louvers and wing fan exit louvers. Landing gear is raised. Power is increased until the XB-5A approaches desired cruise speed and altitude. Standard aircraft controls and instruments are used during conventional flight. Approaching the simulated destination, the pilot prepares for a vertical landing. Engines are throttled back for the desired rate of descent. The landing gear and flaps are extended. The pitch fan inlet louvers are opened and the wing fan exit louvers are positioned. During this phase of the conversion, the pilot positions the aircraft in a slightly nose-up attitude. Thrust spoilers are deployed as power is increased. The collective stick is moved to mid-range and the conversion switch is positioned to the VTOL mode. The exit louvers are programmed by the stick's thumb switch to attain the desired sink rate. The control stick is used to establish the desired attitude of the aircraft. The pilot aligns his aircraft with the landing site. Forward speed decreases as the aircraft remains slightly nose up. The aircraft is brought to a hover and leveled prior to touchdown. The pilot controls the rate of descent with the twist grip throttle and by lowering the collective stick. Pitch attitude is regulated by the control stick with yaw being corrected with the rudder pedal. The wing fan exit louvers are deflected to zero degrees with the power setting controlling the vertical speed. The XB-5A slowly descends to a spot landing. The simulated flight is completed as the pilot brings the aircraft to rest within the limits of the prescribed landing area. In this sequence, the Ryan simulator has realistically demonstrated the operational characteristics of the XB-5A and shown the simplicity of pilot control. Extensive flight simulation and wind tunnel tests were conducted by General Electric and Ryan to ensure the successful development of the XB-5A. Over 600 hours of wind tunnel testing of four different scale models of the XB-5A configuration were successfully conducted. More than 500 hours of trouble-free testing of the full-scale propulsion system were completed. Coinciding with these tests were full-scale fan and wing model tests and 80 hours of wind tunnel tests of the full-scale XB-5A model by NASA's Ames Research Laboratory. Many of the major dimensions of these aircraft were determined by the geometric configurations of the propulsion system. By design, the wing fans were mounted as close inboard as possible. 
This permitted reductions in weight and minimum thrust loss. General Electric and Ryan engineers have incorporated maximum safety features and structural integrity in the design of the propulsion system and airframe. These include single engine flight capability, landing gear with emergency blowdown system, dual hydraulic and electrical systems, and a zero to 500 knot personnel ejection system. Scheduled flight tests of the XB-5A at Edwards Air Force Base, California, are expected to demonstrate the flight characteristics of the lift fan concept. Thank you.